The kaiju blood in Pacific Rim, known as kaiju blue, is described as having a toxic acidity. So feel free to really go nuts with the amount of lemon and lime juice in there. To make your own drinkable kaiju blue, you'll need some red pearl luster dust to mimic the almost oily sheen, blue curacao of course, a citrus gin, a yuzu liqueur, lemon juice, lime juice, and tonic water so that it's black light reactive. This drink serves too, so make sure your co-pilot is ready for the drop. In a shaker with ice, add some of that red pearl luster dust, two to two and a half ounces of blue curacao, an ounce of citrus gin, a half ounce of yuzu liqueur, a half ounce of lemon juice, and a half ounce of lime juice. Shake it up to make sure the luster dust gets all mixed in there, and then pour it into your two drinking vessels. Top them off with tonic water and share it with someone drift compatible. Cheers. Cheers. Better late than never, am I right? Because this set of three inch figures came out in 2015 as a Comic Con exclusive. A few found their way to some stores like Toys R Us. I remember seeing it there and thinking it was a little overpriced for my tastes. Any regrets that I had for passing on it then have since vanished as unlike most exclusives, this set has really dropped in price in the aftermarket. As of the recording of this video, there are a good dozen on eBay for around 30 bucks shipped. With this set, you get five figures, Trespasser, Karloff, Horizon Brave, Romeo Blue, and Hardship. The paint and detail may be underwhelming, and the characters may not sound familiar, but there's a reason for all that. First off, each of these characters appeared in the opening exposition dump. Trespasser as the first kaiju, a brief shot or two of Karloff, we see Horizon Brave being built, and quick bits of Romeo Blue fighting hardship. Second, these toys themselves actually appear on a kid's shelf. So really, these are prop replicas. They're designed like much of the art vinyl toys of the 20 teens, like Kid Robot and such. And while it's bizarre that Hardship and Horizon Brave have some paint while the rest are so plain, they at least match the figures we see on screen, so I guess points for accuracy. For articulation, some fare better than others. Trespasser's arms can rotate up until they get blocked by the shoulder spikes, but also become front heavy and will fall over. Romeo Blue's arms can rotate until their thumbs get stopped by their legs. Hardship's arms will scrape along the mini front arms, but will rotate if you're not worried about paint rubs. Hardship has the worst balance of them all, to the point where I have to have the arms slightly back for it to stay upright. Karloff has a full uninhibited 360 degree rotation in the arms, Horizon Brave also has full rotation in the arms and full rotation in the waist. For designer vinyls, I'd expect these to be 10 to 15 bucks a piece, which I guess is what they were initially. But if you're getting the set for 30, then that's a steal at six bucks each. It looks like there are plenty out there, so get a bunch and paint them up. In the meantime, you may be tempted to down these drinks until you can sit through the sequel, but I gotta remind you to please drink responsibly.